الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت فلا when is bathing or ghusl necessary uh, in pertinence to or in relation to wet dreams when a person sees a mini or semen that is emitted from the body regardless of whether it takes place during wakefulness or sleep they make they must make ghusl so that means how are you going to know that you have many, that you have semen, or that you have emitted a uh, fluid. Of course, it's not going to be through smell. It's go and not going to be through taste, obviously. It's going to be through what? It's going to be through wetness. And this is what we see from the various ahadith to let us know. And that's why it's implicit in the, uh, in the definition. When we say wet dreams, we're talking about wet. We're talking about something. We're talking about moisture. We're talking about moisture secreted from the private parts and this is based on the hadith of Ali radiallahu ta'ala who said I asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about al-midhi and he said it is necessary to perform wudu when al-midhi is emitted and is necessary to perform ghusl when al-mini is emitted this is an authentic hadith this is a hadith uh, narrated in Tirmidhi and Imam al-Tirmidhi said this hadith is good and sound so let us know that we must make, uh, if we have uh, a midi, uh, 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 when we have uh, a midi, which is like the premature ejaculation, then we must clean the, your private parts and you must make wudu. But from a mini, which is semen that is ejaculated, you must. Make ghusl. Of course, clean your private parts and make ghusl. And the hadith of Um Salama radiallahu ta'ala reported that Um Sulaim radiallahu ta'ala uh, said, O Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, verily Allah is not ashamed of the truth. So if you, so is it incumbent upon a woman to have a ghusl uh, if she has uh, emissions? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Naam idharat al ma. Yes, if she sees moisture. Again, letting us know that moisture is what we're looking for in order to determine whether you need to make a uh, ghusl or not. And the hadith goes, uh, it was a hadith of Um uh, Sulaim, uh, Imra'ata Abi Talha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, qalat, Ya Rasulullah, inna allaha la yastahi min al-haq, fahal ala mar'a al ghusl idha hiya talamat? Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, na'am, midha ra'at al ma. So she asked, for this hukum, showing us what? Showing us the the vigilance of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, the women and the men, the Sahabiyat, for seeking knowledge and for wanting to know the hukum about things before engaging in them. So that's a lesson for us, the thick of the Sahaba, in order to avoid the muharramat and to uh, fulfill the halal and the wajib that the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, used to ask. They used to ask. And who did they ask? They asked the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Um Salama said, does a woman have nocturnal emissions? He sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, may your hands be covered in dust. If not, what will cause her son to resemble her? This is authentic hadith letting us know that women also have wet dreams and secrete moisture. When a person has a sexual dream and does not find any emissions, he is not obliged to perform ghusl. Well, if a person found emissions, meaning sexual discharge or moisture or what have you, but did not remember having a sexual dream, he must still perform ghusl. So hopefully that answers the question. So according to the hadith of Khawla bint Hakim radiallahu ta'ala anha, who asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about a woman who sees in her dreams what a man sees. And he said, Laysa alayha ghusl hatta tunzil. كما أن رجل أن رجل ليس عليه غسل حتى ينزل. So she, uh, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم answered by saying she is not obliged to perform غسل unless she emits sexual discharge. Just as a man is not obliged to perform غسل unless he emits sexual discharge. So it's not an issue of smelling. It's not an issue of anything else. But it's an issue of wetness. If you see discharge and you're not sure 
what it is, then you make ghusl. So that should be very clear about that. And it, uh, it was narrated by Ahmed in an Isai in abbreviated form with the wording, she asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about a woman who has a sexual dream when she is sleeping and he said, uh, If she sees any liquid, she must perform a ghusl. Uh, this hadith is Hassan, uh, and it's a hadith in, uh, uh, reported uh, in Ahmed, and Nisa'i, Ibn Majah, and Ibn Abi Shaybah, and Al-Musannaf. Uh, also, Imam uh, Al-Albani uh, collected in his Silsila as uh, So the hadith is Hassan. And the hadith of uh, Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, who said the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was asked about a man who finds wetness and does not remember having uh, you know, some uh, a dream or something, and he said, Yag Tessin, he should perform ghusl. So that right there uh, covers our, our, our various uh, different scenarios. Then he was asked about a man who believes that he had a, uh, um, you know, a, a night dream, uh, dream or a sexual dream, but does not find any wetness, and he said, La ghusl alayhi, he is not required to perform ghusl. So even if you had a, a sexual dream, a sensual dream, what have you, but you did not, but you woke up and you didn't find anything, you don't have to make a ghusl. Um Salim said, if a woman sees this, is she obliged to perform ghusl? He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Nam, an nisa shiqa'ik al-rijal. Yes, women are no more than our sisters of the men. And this is the authentic hadith. So it lets us know that in the case of a wet dream, that uh, of course, you, you must make ghusl. And in the case where a person had a sexual dream, but there was nothing emitted, they didn't find anything, then they do not uh, have to make ghusl. And I hope that's clear, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.